In 2010, <clears throat> the truck competes in its last year of competition. The American Guardian also competed in the Demolition in the Dome event in the Pontiac Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. The truck then competes in its last event in April at Dixie Speedway in Georgia. The truck is then retired after the show. In 2012, the chassis from 2003-2005 would be sold to become Green Mountain Monster. In 2013, the chassis from 2005-2010 is sold to Camo Motorsports where it become the revived anger management. The American Guardian was a subject to controversy in 2003 due to the misspelling on the back of the original Hot Wheels toy release, the, the tailgate was supposed to re read, dedicated to the men and women who served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Instead, it read, dedicated to the men and women who served Served in the U.S. Armed Forces. This error would be, would soon fix and was, the truck was re-released with the misspelling, misspelled word corrected prior to its to retirement, American Guardian was still running a fiberglass USHRA logo. So, the, the truck used some, also used flashing strobe lights on the chassis over the years. In the early years, it used those same lights for the headlights too. In the, two th in the second show in Houston, I mean, St. Louis 2000, one of was one of the few times the American Guardian did not use its iconic flame jet for the show. And now the photo album of this historic monster truck.
Wow. And that does it for the history. I mean, the story of the American Guardian. So, did I get the error or did I get the correct spelling? One, two, three. My first monster truck die cast with a black chassis. And I I got the can't see it. But I got the error. A great monster truck, but I wish it came back.